So good morning, everybody. Happy day after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a beautiful Thanksgiving with your families and a safe one. Um, I was thinking about you guys all day and I had a great time yesterday with you guys. Thanks again. Um, and mom, love you to death. So check it out. Um, this is the morning after. It's just starting to snow a little bit again, but we're only supposed to get a, a, a few inches today, which is still a lot, but this is basically the snow aftermath of the biggest part of the storm. So yeah, so we're just gonna cruise around and uh, check things out. How's that sound? I thought we might drive around the lake, see what's up, see what's cracking. All right. And that says 28 degrees, but the snow is above the temperature gauge on the car. It's more than 28, or it's uh, 22 degrees. I, I just checked inside my house. Two of my little weather things say, say that. 22 degrees. Oh man, I hope it'll get stuck. Oh man. So we definitely got about at least two to two and a half feet at my house right here. And I might get stuck right here. Unbelievable. Let's see if I can just... Okay, I'm going to have to back up a little bit and then kind of plow through it. Wow. But I just got to make sure there's no traffic coming or that could be a problem. This is not going to be fun. Hope I don't get stuck. I need more of a running start. So we're going to back all the way up. Wow, this is just not good, guys. I did not expect it to be like this. Wow. But these are still good tires, so don't worry about that. Okay. Wow, look at how deep that is, guys. That is just crazy. Please grip a little bit. There we go. I hope no cars are coming. That would not be good. Probably not even going to make it through this berm anyway. Damn it. Now we're going to be stuck. Or not. Wow. Guys, that is just gnarly. Okay, we're going to back up again and give it another go. <laughs> Look at how deep that is. That's got to be two and a half feet at least. Maybe even three. Look at that, guys. At the very bottom of it. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. At least we can back out of there, no problem. All right, so now we're gonna get a really good running start. How about that? Not this little wimpy one that we've been doing. But look at how deep that is. It's as high as the door. Just crazy. Just crazy. Oh, that's my neighbor. My neighbor's car behind us. All right. Let's see if we can back up a little bit more. That's her car behind. Okay. Running start. I don't see any cars coming. Blast through it this time, Nick. Come on, buddy. Get some air. We're going to get some air. Oh, I hope the train horns didn't die, but we made it. Woohoo! Guys, through three feet of snow. You saw that was three feet. No joke. I can't believe that's actually how much snow we got. Would have never guessed that until I dug the car as deep as I could right there. That was three feet of snow. That was three feet of snow, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this way around the lake again. The reason being, oh, here's my snowplow guy. <laughs> I got out of there. Yeah. The reason being is uh, there's probably going to be, if there's anybody coming up right now, they're, they're going to be coming up this way. And I don't want to hit traffic at the Boulder Bay Dam or at the Big Bear Dam. If you catch my drift. So it's probably going to be a pretty long video because we're going to do the whole lake. Not the whole valley, just the whole lake. I'm really tired, but I really want to do this for you guys because this is so pretty. One of the most pretty mornings I've ever seen in Big Bear. It's just absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. It's just so great. needs to stay on um, the windshield wipers 
and the the heat for the windshield wipers. Man, look at this. Look at snow summit over there. Boom. Oops. Yes, I was watching South Park, the Succubus episode. I haven't been to sleep yet, guys. I've just been staring out my window, watching documentaries about motorcycle clubs. And then I started the car about 30 minutes ago. There was a 30 minute clip or a 30 second clip that I'm gonna put before this that you guys will already have seen. But yeah, I'm just reminding myself. special to me making sure you guys are safe it's more important than me getting sleep I can get sleep and trust I promise you guys I would not do this if I didn't feel comfortable doing it right now like if I was that out of control tired there's no way I would do it okay I promise you guys I would not put myself or especially other people in jeopardy look at this guy okay good thing he turned So I'd be willing to bet it's snowing over at the dam. At the dam dam. At the John Claude Van Dam. So this is the Snaftermath. The Snaftermath. <laughs> man, we got dumped on, man. This is, I think, the second biggest snowfall I've seen here so in the five years, four and three quarters years that I've been here. This has got, yeah, this has got to be the second biggest snowfall I've seen. Almost reminds me of the El Nino video. <laughs> One of my first videos I made. It's got like 40,000 views. I can't believe it. A lot of thumbs down, but probably because I, I well, I don't know. The, the snow is beautiful. I couldn't, I, I don't understand why I got so many thumbs down on it, but you know, it, it just, it is what it is, man. But I tell you, man, we got so many good people here. This is an amazing community last night really cemented that for me those of you who are watching live know what I'm talking about cemented that for me for sure anything you guys ever need from me I'm absolutely there for you thank you so much the love and support is just overwhelming isn't it amazing how as humans we tend to focus on like the two really negative comments about things I'm just generalizing things, but as opposed to like the hundreds of really beautiful comments, we have to focus on the two like nasty ones. Like, like why don't we focus on all the other really good ones and take power out of that? Like, I don't know why I can't do that, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Gosh, look at how much snow is on that roof. Woo! Feels like we're in Mammoth, it really does. This is heavy snowfall. I hope all of you that made it up have had a great time up here. Because I'm telling you right now, man, the reason why I created this YouTube channel was so I could store all my YouTube or all these videos without having to pay for thumb drives. Um, because watching these videos when I'm down makes me feel really happy. I don't feel depressed. And it, it's just, I, I never expected this community to come out of this, you guys. I did not. I, I, had, I had no clue. I did not expect this at all. I just thought that I was being really smart by using this venue as a place to store my stuff for free. And instead of clicking on private, 
I just made it public because you know what? Why not help somebody else? If it helps me, I mean, we are human. It's, it's gotta help somebody else, at least one other person. So maybe it can help somebody else because it really helps me so much, you guys. This takes away my depression big time. And I just don't know what it is about it, but it's just so freeing and um, peaceful, just showing you how small you are and how big mother nature is. Like she completely transformed the landscape here. Look at this, she completely did. She's, she's magnificent, I love her. Uh-oh, I'm getting those El Nino feelings. Huh. But anyway guys, this is just gorgeous. If I had the courage, I'd like to drive down the mountain, but I'm a little bit scared to drive down and come back up. I'm sure I'd, I'd probably be okay, but it's just, it's just not, that's not worth the risk on a day like this. Like with all the good things I have going for me, like, like chilling with my family, the mama son. Man, look at how deep that is. That's three feet of snow, guys. Unbelievable. It really is. I'm not joking. This is so freaking cool. Unbelievable, guys. I'll try to shut up for a couple minutes. I will. You know what? I really will. I'll try to be quiet until we get to the dam. God, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a task. All right. Starting right now. talk now because it just started snowing and it's coming down pretty good like as it just started snowing that is so cool and getting out this early is great because we can do this whole drive without any traffic for the most part knock on wood And we're heading towards the snowiest part of town, guys. Don't forget that. If you wanna be in the part of town where you get the most snow, and I'm telling you, it's a significant difference. It's not just a hit and miss thing. It's a, it's in basically 90, nine out of 10 storms. Probably more than that. 99 out of 100 storms in the winter time, we'll get more snow, way more snow over here than, than Baldwin. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be deeper over here at the dam. Oh my gosh, it's, it, it might even be close to three and a half, four feet. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We're flashing, is flashing that. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm turning on my blinkers. I'm not flashing him the bird, you guys. Okay, look at how much snow. Oh my god, dude. This is epic. You guys, this is so epic. And look at that guy just popped out of nowhere. Unreal. Oh shiza. Missed it a deep spot right there. Look at the roof straight ahead. Oh my god. Look at all that snow. Just beautiful. Uh oh. Oh, this is that guy we saw last night to abandon his truck right here. That's such a bummer. I better not see on the Big Bear Grizzly like people found in car. That would, that would not be good. 
I feel responsible. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up to the dam now. Just notice how much snow there is, guys. This is ridiculous. Este nieve es muy bonito. Yo no sé por qué yo no puedo acallar. Yo, 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 yo hablar, yo hablar, yo hablar. Uh, yo no sé por qué yo no puedo acallar para como do dos minutos. Pues, cállate, Nicolás, para dos minutos. Porque necesitas hablar todo el tiempo en la carro. Cállate para dos minutos para los, so, los, los personas aquí pueden ver todo lo muy bonito. Uh, 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 scenery. <laughs> look at all this. Look at how big this. Oh my gosh, guys. This is crazy. This is a lot of snow. ourselves folks okay the further this way the snowier it gets and there are no hotels out here anyway so the closest one is just back there a little bit you can get bed or uh, rent you know Airbnbs over here this is where it gets really expensive down on like Cove Street and whatnot. Very expensive. Even for, uh, yeah, even like, it's very expensive. I had a good friend back in the day who used to live, whose parents had a vacation home on the corner of, of the lake on Cove Street. And it wrapped around both corners of Cove. Just spectacular. snow the further we go this way. Hope we can turn that off for a couple minutes. We're down at least. Jeez, that guy's not getting in his driveway. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, this is a real snowfall, man. This is real. This is the real deal right here. Couple people asked me, is, is this really Southern California? I was like, yeah, 90 miles out of LA. <laughs> it's not typical that we get this much snow, but it does snow all the time, every winter. But not like this, these are rare. But I'm very grateful, very grateful we got it. Now I need to slow down so I don't lose control right here. So one of the comments was like giving me crap about, um, I guess like crashing, but that wasn't a crash last night. That was a controlled turning into that snow berm because I was on one of the steepest slopes in Big Bear, no joke, right behind the village going down and I was gonna go straight into their car. If, if, if they weren't stuck, I would have been good, totally fine. But they were stuck and I didn't realize it and they couldn't move. And so I had to turn the wheel to the right to make myself stuck, or at least to slow down so I wouldn't hit them. Um, 
So, I mean, and then I dug myself, I dug the back tires out, but then dude was so big and strong, he just thought, hey, you know what? I'll go to the other side and I'll just push really hard. And you know what? It worked, it worked. I hit the gas and he just pushed and it worked. You'll see, it, if you guys watched that live feed from last night, it was pretty awesome. We got rid of all the nasty comments, so. That's all we're gonna say about that. Oh, look at this, look at how deep this is. So this is the snowiest part of town right here, guys. This is where all the storms come in. Snowplow, and then we're gonna take his his little route right there. Oh, come on, bro! Barney. Oh my gosh! Look at how beautiful that is. And these berms. And this this part of Fawn Skin, the closest part to the to the lake, is also amongst what gets the most snow in town. And literally right up against the mountains on that side over there. You will get just hammered. It's amazing what literally just a few hundred yards will do up here. Wow, look at all the snow. So happy, oh my gosh. It's so clear out here too. Thank goodness we're gonna do a, real, a kind of a slow drive so we can just, oh my gosh. I hope you guys silent this and put like Christmas music to the background. You don't have to listen to my annoying persona. Nunca puedo dormir. Ah, yo no sé qué es la problema, pero yo tengo muchísimos problemas y muchachas, sí, es un grande problema. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So, hoy es noviembre 29, um, 2019, en Big Bear Lake, California. Estamos manejando a la Highway 38. Y un otro nombre es North Shore Drive. Y tú puedes saber, hay mucho, mucho snow. Nieve, yo creo que es en español, nieve. Hey man, I try my best. I really do. I really do. I know people are going to make fun of me because my Spanish sucks, but I can understand everything in Spanish. I just can't speak it as well anymore. I grew up learning English and Spanish at the same time. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's part of my, what, one of my native languages, which is pretty cool. Guys, yeah, just amazing. Look at that, look at that picture right there. Oh, man. I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, that lady just looks beautiful. 22 degrees over here right now. Afraid to roll down the window too much. Because in my old, uh, in my Mercedes ML500, I broke three of the four windows because it was too cold outside when I rolled them down and you could hear it explode inside the door. And then I didn't learn my lesson from the first one, hit the next window, boom. I was like, what the? And then I didn't learn my lesson from there and did it again. $400 each. Only replaced one. <laughs> oh my gosh, that lake. It's just incredible. Right now, out here, so beautiful. Look at this guy shoveling. 
<laughs> look, watch. He's gonna pop up right here. Watch, whoop. <laughs> How cool is that? That was hilarious. <laughs> I like that, man. That was cool. That was cool. Cool, cool, cool. Crack this window a little bit. Not too much, though. I just don't want the camera to overheat. The Eli fan to overheat. We're expecting another few inches of snow today, you guys. You can see over, you can see it. It's, it's kind of rolling in right now over the mountains. Yeah, watch the road, eh? There you go. There you go. Man, we put this car through hell this past couple days guys but because i promise you guys that i'm always gonna you know be honorable when you guys send me money like everything goes into this channel like no joke as i said i have two gopro hero two more gopro hero eights coming um and and that's not just all the money you guys send me i'm investing like eight like 80 percent so i just want you guys to know that i really do care about this and i want to make it the best i can for you guys um, because not only is it have to do with safety, it's really beautiful too. So glad no one's getting up this morning. They're all hung over from all the food. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hope it was so great. Like so great. What is going on here? Are they on the side of the road or in the middle of the road? I can't tell. Oh, they're on the side, okay. Okie dokie. Now that's gonna come blowing in the car right here. Roll up the window quick, 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 quick. Quick. No, oh, please don't be a car coming around this corner. That would just be my luck. I need to get that big freaking rock ice off it. Oh, cool. It works. Sweet. We're getting a little light snow over here. In Fonskin. This is one of the prettiest spots in town right here. This view that goes all the way out there. I don't know if we're gonna get a good one of it, but oh man, we can't. The snow berm's too high. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Okay hey guys, fawn skin, elevation 6,750. And this part of fawn skin gets a lot of snow too, but not the most in town. I already showed you guys where that is. Right on either side of the dam right there, within a hundred yards, gets the most snow. And then just outside of the dam, you'll get more snow than in Big Bear. Like right there on the little Arctic Circle, and Snow Valley, 
um, the parts of Snow Valley Ski Resort that are the, the elevation of Big Bear Lake, um, they get way more snow than we get. Way more snow. Because they are on those west facing slopes. Those uh, southwest facing slopes. And they get hit with the storms. The storms hit them and just lift and just, just, just squeezes everything out of them. Right at the base. And then whatever's left over, we get back here. But look at it, look at the roof. That's, that's three feet of snow at least, right? That's gotta be at least three feet of snow. Oh, I'm so, so impressed with Mother Nature on this one. It's been a few years, guys. It's been since 2016 since I've seen something like this. January 2016. My video that has the most views, 40,000 something views. Dude, that's crazy how fast that's gonna change, man. I'm, I can't believe where this channel's going. It's crazy. I mean, I think about the fact that if if, if someone can have like a billion subscribers for playing video games and kicking butt at them, like, I mean, there's got to be a, a few people who like this stuff, and to get a good community going, that's that's like my intention now is is it's just to get a really cool community going with this. Um, because either way, I'm going to be doing these videos because, as I said, it takes away my depression. But uh, um, because I know how good it works for me, if I can help you guys out, man, I'm totally down to do that. Whatever I can do to help you guys out, I will absolutely do that. Turn those frowns upside down, you know what I'm saying? Because I do love you guys. That is from the bottom of my heart. When everyone goes home like Monday or Tuesday, I can't wait to drive around town and see how many snowmen are all over town. It's gonna to be so cool. But yeah, guys, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb. I promise I haven't looked it up, but I think this is the most snowfall we've ever had in Big Bear Lake on uh, Thanksgiving. Or this time of year period. Maybe not this time of year period. Maybe we've had something similar, but um, for sure on Thanksgiving, I'm gonna go out on a limb and bet you guys uh, a friendly bet that yeah most snow we've ever had on Thanksgiving and we were mobbing out there guys we were like the only one on the road the only the only other people were snow plows the things I do for you guys man I love you guys you guys are awesome I love doing this though so you know <laughs> I just like saying um, the things I do for you guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really do love you guys, man. You guys are freaking awesome. Changed my life. Look at that that fence. It's almost completely under snow. Unbelievable. When was the last time we passed a car? Do you guys even remember? So that's over by the dam. How dark it is over there. And then over by Baldwin and stuff, it's clearing up. You know what, since it is so early, why don't we just do the whole valley tour and get a really good look at the snow rule. I think we'll do that because we're, we're, I mean, we're not hitting any traffic. We'll be good. There, I guarantee you there's not going to be a lot of people coming up Highway 38. But please just take your time, guys. Give yourself extra time. Don't be in a hurry. Your safety is so paramount. Cause this is dangerous driving right now, guys. This is dangerous up here. This is very dangerous. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. And I'm not trying to hurt any businesses up here in any way. I have a business up here too. I survive off of tourism too. But, you know, like, the whole key is to survive. <laughs> and um, if I ever felt like it was too bad, I would tell you guys, like, just please don't come unless you have the experience that I have up here. In, in snow like this and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Because when there's snow like this, what do most people do? Avoid going out in it, right? Like, I go out in it. And and, and we almost got stuck, oh, geez, right off the bat this morning. Right off the bat. I mean, this is going to be such a cool video. I'm so stoked, man. Oh, I'm loving this. 
thought I just saw a car coming up. Shot. 646 in the mound. Snowing everybody. Ring ding dong. Ring a ding 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 dong. Now it's snowing people. So. <laughs> oh, slow down, Nick. You don't have to go so fast, buddy. The snow's not going anywhere. It's only supposed to be 23 degrees for our high temperature today. It's honestly probably not going to get any higher than this. Also, because we did get a little break in the clouds. And you saw those clear patches, and those clear patches, uh, the heat rises up through those, and the little heat that was left underneath the clouds is about gone. Is about gone, my friend. Getting into less snow. But I'm really interested to see how little Baldwin has. They actually had a decent amount last night. If you guys remember through the live feed, they had about seven inches. I was really, really impressed. But they didn't have like three and a half, four feet like the dam had. Parts of the dam, the dam area, the dam, dam area. The dam, dam. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some snow natos. Or like, instead of dirt devils, snow devil type things. Those are really neat. Snow summits right over there, but you can't see it. But it is engulfed. Engulfed, my friend, just engulfed. You can kind of make it out a little bit, but not really. Big Bear Dam is that direction. It's getting darker over there. It's getting darker over here. But Baldwin's out that way. The way where there's the clear spot. And these berms are kind of good for the people who come into these turns a little fast, though. These berms could save your life. That's actually a pretty steep drop off right there. If you land wrong, you could really hurt yourself. Oh, look at that. Just simply marvelous. Oh, it's just simply marvelous. Yes. Epicness. You know what? I don't think I'm going to patch together the part where I was warming up the car because that's going to make it take another 45 extra minutes to make this video. So if I can keep this video going in one swift go, we'll be good. It'll upload a lot faster than normal. So if we can keep it under an hour, it'll be easier to upload it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can keep it under an hour. It'll be close. It's going to be close. We, we got another 20 minutes. Looks like I'm not going to be riding my motorcycle anytime soon. That kind of sucks, but I'll take it for weather like this. But if it's for those piddly little one-inch, like, sleet storms, then yeah, you can take your sleet, Mother Nature, and you know where you can take it. 
can, you can bring it here because we need it. <laughs> All right. Coming up the Stanfield cutoff, ladies and gentlemen. Love you guys, man. I really do. You guys have been terrific. Terrific for my soul. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. remember I'll show you guys what happened to the front bumper I mean I made it worse by going deep in it, like through those berms in my driveway um, that the snow plows had piled up about four feet I just hit the gas and went straight through it you guys saw that like I mean I, so it did do a little damage but that's okay the car still drives great so it ain't no thing but a chicken wing Oh man, a little house on the prairie. parts of Baldwin. It's going to be really pretty over there. Looking over this side towards the snow and the storm coming in, the last part of this storm, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. As I said, we're only expecting a couple more inches today. It's supposed to stop tonight. Um, I'm pretty sure Highway 18 is still open. Or you know what? When I was making a right-hand turn on Font to Fonskin, it looked like they may have re-shut down the roads, but I'm not sure. Maybe they were just checking for chains. I'm telling you, like, I don't want to leave the house for any reason today because it's so dangerous out here. But as I said, I want to take the hits for you guys so you guys can see with your own eyes what it's really like and make your own determination whether you feel like you're comfortable enough to come up in this type of weather. Um, but I don't want you guys to, to get up here and then panic. Um, I want you guys to be mentally prepared for this because it is, a, it is kind of scary, you know, like, I mean, 
even I crashed, remember? Like, but that was intentional. That was intentional. I had to do that or else I was gonna hit that other car because they were stuck. And I was on such a steep downgrade. Oh my gosh. It didn't look like it in the camera, but um, it, I'm telling you, if you guys wanna see for yourself, take Pine Knot all the way up to the top. Pine Knot turns into Cameron at the top. Make a left and just stay on that all the way down. It's, it's not that far of a drive. It's like a, like a half a mile round trip maybe three quarters of a mile. Um, but yeah, you'll see it was really steep, <laughs> really steep. That's why I was going down it to show you guys how good this darn vehicle handles. And it was doing just fine. It was doing just fine. This guy's going home, I bet. Back down the hill. Please turn right. No, he's not turning right. No chance. No chance, man. You know what? It might be snowing in Baldwin. Holy moly. Look at that, guys. Look at how cool that looks over there. It's probably snowing over there. Wow. So cool. I want to get in front of this guy. There are no cars coming, but we're not going to go around a blind turn, even though we can see around it. Don't do that. I mean, it's not a blind turn if you can see around it, but you can't see the initial turn. You can see way down the turn. So just don't do it. Ain't worth it. Ain't worth it, my friend. And on the left, there's a pretty good ditch. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm going to give them the old train horn. Whoa! It's frozen. Not good. Don't mess with it, Nick. It's frozen. Oh, you guys hear that? It sounded like a little, a little wussy horn. <laughs> like the train horn gave birth to a little baby train horn. And that's what it sounded like. Look at this Mercedes charging, bro. Take it easy, be careful. It's a beautiful ride. I don't want that to go in the ditch. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. It's not me I'm worried about, it's the other drivers. But you know what? I love the confidence these guys have. You just gotta have confidence. But at the same time, you gotta have it. A healthy fear of this or else you will get hurt like I have a very healthy fear of this because I understand how dangerous this is I um, mean yeah we're getting snow in Baldwin unreal snowing in Baldwin heavier than it is on the other side of town but I, I, I that's just because part of this storm is passing through here so not a big deal I mean it's not going against my snow rule you, I, you know you can already tell just over here how how much less snow there is. You can almost see dry patches. Oh, well not totally dry, but you can almost see dry over here. And the further we go out that way, as it's snowing in the car. <laughs> oh man, poor guys. At least he has some help. Everyone's got chains on though, man. Because it was probably required, or it's still required to get up here. It's just the roads aren't closed now. It's about to get so windy out here, guys. This is the part of town that's the windiest part of town, by the way. Dude, slow down, guy. All right. Yeah, it's snowing pretty good over here. Look at all these people coming in off of Highway 18. They're all coming in. So Highway 18 on the backside must be open. 
that's where all these folks are coming from. They all don't live in Baldwin, I guarantee you that. Man, look at that sun right there. Oh my gosh, guys. Are you kidding me with that? I mean, seriously, are we kidding? Wow, this is magic. We are in a magic time right now. Magic place. It's like the storms just dissipate over here. Isn't that incredible, you guys? No more storm. My buddy Mike down in uh, in the desert, not too far down the hill, they didn't get anything from yesterday's snow that we had up here, nothing. Can you believe that? Just amazing. There's no way this is gonna be less than an hour. I hope it still uploads okay to Facebook or to YouTube. Because I'm trying, as I said, not to patch a bunch of videos together. But look where the look where the front is of this level. Well, not the front, but this last part of the storm. What's pushing? Look at it, it's right there. And then it's blue skies ahead of it. Gosh, that's so cool, man. So cool. Just significantly less snow out here, guys. Look at this. Compared to the Big Bear Dam, way less snow. Guys, that's the that's the sun right there. That is so cool, man. That's so cool. It's the sun and it's snowing right over there. Oh, so cool. We got into clear skies. And it's dumping. Let's go to this side, clear skies. And this side it's dumping. <laughs> that is so awesome. I love it. Very windy, my friend. Is this kosher now? Yes. I think. Oh no, it's a blind turn. I'm not gonna go around him. Oh yes, I am. He's letting me go. It's not too blind though. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It's very nice of you. Yeah, it was mighty nice of you. We got weather. Hey, clear skies. <laughs> Dude, that is so crazy. But it's just how it is, man. And there's the front of it right there. Wow, it's just so cool. I mean, we are in like a major different type of a climate area right here. It's so cool. Still 22 degrees. As I said, it's not gonna get much warmer than that today in the valley. Oop, hey now. Oh man, I hope all these people don't decide to turn in Baldwin to take the shortcut. All right. Oh, that's a deep snow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that wasn't good. But we made it. And look at that little burn. That's nothing for us today. <laughs> After what we went through at the beginning. Jeez Louise. But look at how little snow there is over here. Look at the roofs here. I mean, compared to the other side of town, they hardly got anything. Snowman, so yeah, that's that's a good one. I like that one. Good job. Whoever did that, good job, you guys. Look at this lack of snow over here. Just amazing. 
but we're getting back into the snowfall. As you can see, and then we're gonna have to pass dude right here. We got plenty of passing area. Thank you, sir. Give him the old thank you. Pretty good snow here. I was trying to get that big piece of ice off there, but I'm not too worried about it. I just hope it's not killing the picture, some of these little lines from the ice. Over here, it gets very blustery. Man, look at that picture right there. That is just insanely beautiful. Right when we come around this corner. And they get good snow drifts over here though, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Look, it's a sun dog, man. I think. No, I thought I saw two little suns on the other side. Man, that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Guys, really? What did we do to deserve this? Have the courage to come out, I guess. So thank you, Mother Nature, for being so beautiful this morning. Gosh, look at that. It's magnifique, huh? Good eight inches over here, guys. I mean, not bad at all. But eight inches is like three feet on the other side of town. It's, it's crazy. But it's just the way it is. And I've tried explaining it, at least what I think happens. It seems pretty logical. Pointing these cameras directly into the sun can be bad for the cameras. So hopefully those clouds stay right there. But I'm telling you that is just too too pretty of a view to to not uh, <laughs> to not film. I mean we're not going to get views like that all the time. Yeah man, they got a good amount of snow over here. Eight or nine inches, man. Wow. Good job. Mother Nature shared the love. What a boron. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool looking. driving like me. Gotta give him some props. And also, uh, I uh, there was a comment that I guess I didn't see on the live feed about uh, certain windshield wipers. So I'd like, uh, if you're watching this far into this, probably not, but if you are, 
whomever left it, I, I, I'd, I'd really like that information again. That'd be great. Um, Cause someone told me it sounded like they'd be really killers, really killer. Just perfect. So yeah, guys, isn't that just, that's so picturesque. That's as beautiful as it gets right there. Picture after picture I'm taking while we're recording. snow I've seen over here in three years by far obviously right here they get a little bit more because they're really up close to the to the to the hills right here oh man it's just beautiful seeing all the snow fall from the trees and then ah oh yeah it's so cool love it love it <laughs> it's very easy to please me i'll tell you that so pretty oh my gosh I can't get over it I feel like Brendan Fraser in that movie Bewitched where he plays the character at one part of the movie where he's just so overly sensitive <laughs> they're just beautiful oh man So this is Shea Road, you guys, S-H-A-Y, I believe. If you stay straight on Big Bear Boulevard instead of uh, turning onto Highway 38, this is what it turns into. You'll see. We're coming up to, to Big Bear Boulevard and Highway 38 in just a moment. But if you stay straight on this, it'll turn into to Big Bear Boulevard and take you to the other side of town. Woo! Snow blowing in here. I love it. No, they probably got close, close to a foot. But this is a mile and a half closer to this side of town than where we just saw the very little bit of snow. You know, eight, eight inches. I'm not, not very little. You know what I'm saying, though. Comparatively, compared to the other side of town.
temperature stayed steady at 22. Yeah, they got a good foot over here at least. Right here, at least a foot, maybe a foot and a half. Just a couple hundred yards makes a huge difference, folks. I'm gonna go in front of this guy. Because this guy looks like he's gonna go at a decent speed. super crazy stupid stuff okay I'm, I'm not gonna put other people in jeopardy took all the ice off, we'd be good. It's okay, we're good. We're not too far from the house. Hopefully the snow plow came. As I said, I thought that was him driving over towards our house right when we left this morning. So I hope it was. Do. And my buddy Nick, dude, I hope Nick's doing good out there. He's gonna be starting his hike in a couple days. So 
Good on you, buddy. Good on you. It'd be cool for you to do some like live stuff if you could. Oh wait, you know what though? We wouldn't be able to send you donations, unfortunately. Because you need a thousand subscribers to be able to, to activate Super Chat. Man, you should have a thousand subscribers at least, dude. Because you're awesome. But anyway. Yeah. This is called Dead Man's Curve. has seen better days. <laughs> So nice, guys. As I said, you should mute this video and then play Christmas music in the background. Here's the snow play. I wonder if they're open yet. Nope, they're still closed for the morning. But they'll be open shortly, I'm sure. Wow. And as I said, all night they were making snow too at all the resorts like crazy on top of all the new snow. So the ski resorts will have so much snow. Man, it's just such a beautiful place. on this side of town over there get that much snow you know this town got dumped on because we can have like a foot of snow at my house and almost nothing up there but they got hit good too so this was a really powerful storm to push all the way through very impressive I mean, have you guys really seen me have much trouble besides the intentional crash yesterday with these new tires? I haven't had any trouble at all. I, I mean, yeah, it was tough getting out earlier this morning, but that's because the snow is above the, the, uh, the way above the clearance of, of, of the car. So it's tough. There's Snow Summit right when we make this left corner right here and it's snowing pretty good on snow summit right now still so that's good and we're gonna go to, to Starbucks I hope they're open 
They should be, man. I'd be so bummed if they weren't. Yeah, this is so awesome. parked here for the bank this early so they must be open sweet we'll do the whole drive guys okay turn this down for up and see. Oh man. Look at all the snow in the car. It's okay. Look at that big old chunk of ice. Maybe their their mic isn't working. Nope, they're closed, man. Oh. Let's let's see what's what's it say on the front door. What's that say? Clothes due to weather. <laughs> Whatever. Bunch of Barney's. You know what? Let's go. To the, you know what? The, the other Starbucks is open. We'll go to that one. Inside of Vaughn's. Woo! It was just nice to, you know, thought of going through a drive through But oh well. We're just gonna make our own parking spot right here. Sweet. All right, I don't think we're gonna do the whole video, guys, unfortunately, so we're gonna call it quits right now, but I just want you guys to get a good glimpse of town. Love you guys very much. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and the door was just stuck shut. <laughs> oh, man. Love you guys a lot, man. Uh, I'll shut it off when we start walking around the store. Yes.